Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. As we are uh, going through the marketing automation process, so uh, after gathering the contact that can be done with the help of online customer form, uh, we have to segment our audience. Like we have to create certain campaign groups whom do we want to send the required messages and invitations and all. So how can we create those groups? We'll be knowing about that. So as we all know that our group is a set of employees, contacts, customers, partners, or vendors. And we can create in the NetSuite application, we can create groups of records uh, for communicating with the sets of individual, like uh, uh, if we want to invite a group to a meeting or create uh, certain folders in the file cabinet for a specific group. So for that reasons, uh, a, a, a separate or a specific group uh, for the purpose of campaigning is required to be created, creating campaigns. So for that, we are required to create certain groups so that uh, we do it each and every time we do not have to manually select a person. So whom do we want to uh, send the required notification? So how it is done in the NetSuite application, we'll see. So as part of the process uh, of creating a group, we have to get into list, relationship. Here we have the option of uh, creating groups. So you can see that these are already created. Uh, if we want to create a new one, so we'll uh, click on this new group option. Then uh, we have to select whether uh, are we creating a dynamic group or a static group. So uh, basically the dynamic group is selected so that whenever any changes are made uh, to the required records, so it will be updated automatically if it is dynamic. And uh, if uh, static is selected, so we have to manually, uh, you know, make necessary changes whenever we want to. So dynamic is selected. Now we have to select the kind of members uh, so for uh, the purpose of this, we have these options. So I am taking contact because I want to create a certain group, a dynamic group for contact. Here we have to provide the name for our group that would be distinctive. Then type is already populated here. Then you can see that saved search. It is a mandatory field here. So I have for this reason, I have created a separate saved search. You can create your own saved search. So I have created this one. Let me show you. This is the subsidiary specific. I have uh, created this contact search for a few subsidiaries. So these are all the contacts uh, that are there in my saved search and that will be appearing on that group that I am going to create. So I have uh, under this group, I have taken all my contacts from BISP, UKHQ, America, Canada, and Mexico. The, I have also selected certain date uh, and I have provided it under the criteria. So this is my saved search uh, that I'm uh, going to use uh, on to my group. So you can see that as soon as I have selected the saved search, the group members name and their details is appearing here. After this, uh, the name of the owner is appearing. If you want to uh, uh, mention the email, so we can mention that email box. Or if we want to restrict this uh, group to certain groups, uh, so we can uh, uh, select the required drop down, uh, sorry, required options from this drop down. And uh, if uh, this uh, restrict group editing to owner is uh, checkbox is checked, so only the owner of the group, that is me, uh, can make necessary changes or I can modify, modify the group if I want to. Then these are all the, if we go down here, so we are having all the mem members information. Then under files, if we want to attach any required files for our reference, so we can uh, add it. And as I have provided all the things, I am not restricting it to any group. And uh, I have uh, checked this restrict group editing to owner. Now I will be saving it. We have to search for it. So here you can see that this is the group that we have created. This is uh, an internal ID is there. It, uh, it is a type of a contact. 
and uh, the saved search name is also appearing so if we want to get uh, over there if we want to make any changes uh, to the uh, uh, contact group so we can uh, you know edit this saved search that is known by uh, subsidiary specific contact search so in this way we can uh, create our own target groups for the purpose of campaigning so that's all about the topic thank you